so I got word this afternoon that the county had released this potential um, permit uh, for the courthouse on September 5th regarding the HSK group coming back to Dayton. And I understand that people are angry and afraid about the news that this hate group is planning this return trip. Uh, let me be clear, I am angry too. After everything our community went through last year, quite frankly, this is too much. I've already reached out to the governor, Senator Brown and Portman and Congressman Turner. I spoke, just spoke to Congressman Turner to ask for their assistance. I want people to know that the city is doing everything in our power to stop our community from having to go through this again. To start, the city commission will be introducing an anti-mask ordinance that will be on the calendar on March 11th. At this point, the application is, front, is in front of the county for their review. I hope the county will do everything in their power to prevent the application from moving forward. Our community has already been through too much. Okay, questions? Look, I mean, number one, we simply just can't afford what the cost was last year. So we're looking at ways, and we learned from the incident last year. Uh, we learned we learned lessons, and so immediately following last year, we directed the law department and our team to look at ways that we could do things to be more effective. The masking ordinance is one for March 11th. We're looking at other uh, other options um, to figure out ways to encourage them not to come here. You know, of course, we encouraged them not to come here last year, but thinking of different legal ways that we can do that as well. Uh, we also hope that the county will do everything in their power to stop this. To, it, to not grant this permit. Look, that's between the county and the county prosecutor. I mean, I'm hoping they're doing that. From the city side, we've been working with our law department to do everything in our power um, should they be unable to do that. Well, it's something that we learned um, from um, a, um, another city. It's uh, the ordinance would make it illegal to wear a mask when committing a crime or reasonably causing fear in other people. A city in Georgia has used it for this specific reason. It has stood up to court challenges um, around this specific issue, so we think that it has viability for us in this issue. This isn't the only thing we're looking into. This is just the first action that we'll continue to do. It came from the general fund. It's, it's incredibly painful, especially as we look at like uncertain times around the recession coming. Um, you know, we're very concerned about it, and we frankly just do not have those resources. After the May event, Senator Brown introduced legislation around having the federal government cover these costs. This is, these are people that aren't from our community. Uh, the reason why they're coming is because of the um, extreme nature of our politics right now, where it's okay to make these kind of statements, and so I appreciate uh, the, our leadership here, um, like S Senator Brown doing that work, it's important. So that's why we called them right away. We've looked into that in other cities. Some have had some success on private spaces, but this isn't a private space, and so that's the challenge. So if they like ask for Levitt Pavilion, you know, that would be a different thing. At this point, the application is front of the county for their review. It's county property. I hope the county will do everything in their power to prevent this application from moving forward. Yeah, and I think the county, since it's their property, should pay at least half of the costs, which they did not do last year. Look, we're reviewing all of that right now. I mean, I'm hopeful that we make it so unbearable for them to come that they don't come. That's what we're trying to do.
it's incredibly frustrating. It's a sign of just the rhetoric that we don't control. You know, this is a, a, a group coming from another state that's coming into our community because of national rhetoric that is um, hurtful and something we don't agree with in this community, and I think that's why they come back. Um, and, you know, I'm angry about it, as everybody else in the community would be, too. Uh, but I think we are, we are working, we've learned things from last year, uh, and if they're, we're going to do everything in our power to try to see if we can get them not to come. Look, I didn't want to comment on that right now. It's really early in this process. So, you know, if, if they um, are successful and want to show their faces and give us their names and still come, which none of these groups seem to do because what they say is so hateful, um, I think that's where we're putting our focus on right now. Well, yeah, it's 60 days before a presidential election that's going to be incredibly ugly. That makes me very nervous. So it has nothing to do with Dayton and everything to do with the national contest. That makes me very concerned about this. I think it would be great. You know, I think it would show that we're serious about doing everything in our power to make sure that these kind of groups do not come to Dayton. Yes, as far as we know. Okay. Thank you for coming after five. Have a good evening.